Today, I'll show you an AI tool that builds apps for you. Geralt here is gonna help me out to build an app today. And this tool is super powerful and can build even the most complex apps. Apparently, it thinks on its own, builds on its own, and generates real full stack apps with React frontends and Python backends. A lot of difficult words for me. So I put it to the absolute limit and I let it build me a dad joke generator. And well, the jokes are, <laughs> well, you'll see. So this is data button. It's a your vision, your software built by AI. And that is what it is. You have an idea. You can get an app or software or whatever built by AI. But it's basically like this little uh, uh, GIF here, right? You just have your stuff. You have your spec, you have some images and just drag that in like into a brief of what you want. And this tool creates the app for you. And this is really super powerful. And I think this is, I mean, blows my mind. So it sort of things on its own and builds it out to completion. And then you can iterate on that. So that is really cool. And this is what we're going to try and do today. Let's get started building this thing. So on the main page here, I can click on build app, right? So here in the description, I can put in that I want to build a dad joke generator. What should I call this though? Hmm. What about dad bot? Never saw that one coming. I need this dad bot to give me the most amazing, the world's best, the new classics of dad jokes based on some of the inputs I give it. So in this next section here, the requirements here, you can put in any other details you'd want to add about the app, right? So I added everything I thought about on a document and imported it here. For inspiration, I just took a screenshot of basically ChatGPT, added it here so I can get a simple looking interface of this app. But it's a pretty cool thing that it can do that automatically for you. Now, if I wanted to save all my dad jokes, just in case of, you know, if the AI takes over and decides that we puny humans, except Geralt here, of course, don't need internet any access anymore, I can have all my dad jokes stored offline. So all I have to do is select this uh, Firebase option here and make sure that it saves to cache locally on my device and boom, my dad jokes would be stored on my phone forever and ever and ever and ever. Well, at least until I change to new phone, I guess. So data button here immediately begins planning out the back end and front end through a to do list. So there's no like a template, it actually builds the apps on its own and designs the user interface for me and it's all automatic. So after letting it work for a few minutes, I have well, now the first version of Dadbot. And this is pretty insane because I can't code to save my life. And here I have an app that I basically well, I didn't build it the, the AI did, but it's my app still. Don't steal my dad bot. And as we check off the to do list here, the AI does all the heavy lifting. It builds the UI in the back end. And we just sit back and sip some coffee, magically becoming self made app developers overnight. Oh, that reminds me, I actually need to get some coffee. So I told it I wanted to add a dad humor level and tone so I can adjust the jokes to see what it's actually doing behind the scenes. You have this preview option here. So if you click on open preview, so I will see all the app updates, updates that the AI does. That's right, in real time. I just need to test everything the AI codes to make sure that it works. And if it doesn't, I'll fix it. No, wait, I can't code. I'll tell the AI to fix it. That's right. I never knew software development was this easy. There is one issue though. So teaching AI dad jokes and dry humor is pretty tough. So we start with some jokes and then we tell it to add more dad joke, add more dry humor to the mix uh, until we really reach its peak, right? So I've done this enough times until the AI actually differentiates the dry humor filter to the others or you know, the, this button here, right? So I had to work with each of, of these settings, test them a few times, finish my coffee while it did all the work. As I'm pretty terrible at coding in general, it took me about an hour to make it solve any errors and the dad joke scaling. Well, it works perfectly fine now. I'm fairly happy with it. But honestly, I can't really blame the app for uh, taking an hour. That was uh, more on me. But there's still one issue. When I'm generating these jokes, right? The same joke was appearing over and over and over and over again. I'm not sure if it's just me being stupid. Surely that can't be it. Surely. All these little 
button filter categories are, are set in place. The tone of the jokes, they work pretty well. So, uh, you know, I, I, I asked the assistant for help and I just had to ask it to not repeat the same joke. Or, well, so I thought. Uh, after a few minutes of coding, it did actually solve my problem. But what it did was make sure the generator doesn't repeat the same joke right after it outputs it. So the second joke was just fine, but the third became the first one again. So that's an issue, right? So I asked it to randomly generate dad jokes each time someone clicks on the button and not repeat the same joke after unless like 20 generations. And well, that's what it did. Now you won't get the same joke ever again, unless you click 20 times, but why would you do that? If we test the app now, I can select dad joke. I can select dry humor and I can get a dad joke. My bed is calling me. Who am I to ignore such an important call? Love it. Let's select an ultimate cringe, wholesome joke. Oh, this is good. And the app is responding fast. And in the preview page here, you can also see how it would look on a tablet or a phone. So you can get this app on any device, which is pretty important these days. And now to make everyone's lives a little better, we're going to make DadBot available to the world. So I'm pressing deploy here and anyone who has this link can access it. It is live up on the interwebs. There we have it. This is an AI powered dad joke generator made with data button. And yes, that button actually works. And I didn't code any of it because again, I can't code. Now, if you want, you can add other things. You can add like a dark mode. You can add more filters. You can uh, add different ways in which the AI will generate the jokes. You can make this as complex as you might like. This is not just for simple dad joke generators. You can make really, really complicated and advanced apps. And that's like super powerful. Sure, you can use this to make silly little apps like I did because I'm a YouTuber and I can do that. Well, that's it. I guess. Is that the first time I called me a YouTuber? Anyway, that's beside the point. I can sit here and do silly little things because I show these tools to you. But what, what this actually is, is a really powerful AI that develops apps. And um, the sky is really the limit here. So I would test this out even for your more advanced app projects. And after this, add your app in your CV as you are finally an app developer. I had a lot of fun with this, but it comes at a cost, but it's honestly pretty great. And I mean, if you're making apps, I'm sure they have a purpose and you're trying to monetize them anyway, right? So yeah, can recommend. As always, have a good one. See ya.